In this video, we're going to begin looking at artwork and the artwork sources. And so to get started, I'm going to choose New Image. We'll leave all of our techniques turned on and choose Next. And we need to select a light colored fabric, choose Next. Now, this is the artwork source window. And generally speaking, we're going to choose from artwork file. This means we have the image on our computer already and we want to select it. We can also choose from embroidery, or we could use um, our creative software to get an image from our scanner or get an image from our camera. And this, of course, is creating a new graphic. Uh, but in my case, I'm just going to choose from artwork file and step on this button to open up the dialog that enables me to browse my computer and see, you know, what images I have. And it's automatically looking in the folder the creative drawing samples folder that was installed with the software. But of course we could use this to browse to any location on our computer. Now here it tells me the name of the file that I have selected. So let's click on one. It'll give us a preview. And then it shows the file type and it's currently saying all supported, which means um, when it says all supported and you look in a folder, it will show you any image that's possible to work with. Now you can, select a specific format and even just looking at this list kind of gives us the opportunity to see what formats are possible. So at the top we've got AI which is an Adobe Illustrator file and CMX which is a Corel Graphics file. We have DXF which is an AutoCAD file and EPS encapsulated postscript. EMF which is an enhanced Windows meta file and SVG the scalable vector graphics. All of those formats are what are called vector images. And a vector image is different from your standard kind of you know, the types of images you find on the internet, which are more like JPEG or GIFs or BMPs. Um, these are what I would call raster images or bitmap images. They're made up of dots of color. So the software handles them differently. It'll handle a vector image differently than it'll handle a BMP image. And in the middle here, there's a few things like, for example, the PLT plotter files, uh, Brother Scan and Cut FCM files. So you can also even import those types of formats into this program. Now, let's start with the vector images. So we've got lots of CMX files here. You simply select your image and say open, and it loads that kind of image in this path here. And so that when I say next, it goes ahead and generates all of the you know, embroidery and or brush strokes as required. Now I'm using my artistic simple cut software and with the simple cut software, it wants to convert most of these fills into brush strokes, which is fine. If I switch to using the artistic suite software, I would have different options available for filling them in. And the point is it knew the colors of the design already because they were um, quite specifically in the vector image had shapes with colors. And so when I say finish, you'll see that the software has taken that vector image and applied in our case, you know, basically like brush strokes. See, but there were very specific shapes in our vector image and it's very easy for the software to select those shapes and apply a style of fill. So that's the benefit of working with vector images and they're quite different. And in the next video, we'll take a look at using bitmap images and just see how that differences and how the software kind of proceeds differently when you select a bitmap image. So this was a vector image. And again, I can just run through and create another one. You simply say new, choose next, select your fabric background, choose next, and then select your artwork source. And as long as you have a vector image and there are really, I don't know, there's hundreds in this list, you know, that I haven't, tried them all, but certainly lots and lots of interesting little, uh, everything from bugs to flowers I found in here to little guys, you know, skateboarders, teddy bears, you name it. When you select it, you say open and next. And the software can automatically sense the colors in the artwork. And because they all have kind of the same outlines as our embroidery shapes do, they have those hand, the wireframe fill shapes software simply sees those shapes and then applies, you know, fill segments to them, fill, you know, embroidery or brush strokes.
So really that's the benefit of working with something like a vector. And now let's take a second to reset and take a look at some bitmap images.